Now next we will go and see how to use the service bus processor. For that what I will do here is I will just remove all and we'll do it again. So first what we will do we will create the connection. So I'll write it out here connection we have to create. Next we have to create the sender. Next we will create send message. Once this is created we have to create a processor. Once the processor is created we have to configure the message. I'll show you how all these things can be done. Then configure handler. Then we have to configure error. And last is start processing. So these are the steps we will be doing in case of service bus processor. So let us go and first create the connection. To create the connection as I showed you earlier we have to use the service bus client. Service and in this we will be passing the connection string. Then we have to create the sender. So sender is using the service bus sender. And in this we will be using the client which we have. Dot create sender. And here we will be passing the queue name. So the queue name is first queue. And next we have to send this message. And to send the message what we have to do we have to use sender dot send message asynchronously and here we will be creating the service bus message so learning about queues okay till sending message it is done so next is how to create the processor create the processor what we have to do here is it is a similar way how we used to create the service bus receiver. So service bus processor is equal to client dot create processor. In this first we will be passing the queue name and queue name for us is first queue. Then we will be passing the option service for processor options this is very important so service was processor options and those are autocomplete message do you want to complete the aut automatically complete the message once processing is done i'll say yes go ahead and do that then max auto lock renewal durations no i don't want to use max concurrent calls i'll be using this one which tells how many messages you want to process in parallel. I'll say one only. That's it. Next is to configure the message and how to do that. So what we have, we have created service bus processor dot process message asynchronously. And what we are going to do here is we are going to create a delegate and that should be a message handler. and we have to create that message handler and for that what we have to do here is away sync task message handler and in this we have to pass the event arguments process message event arguments and in this you can do all the processing What I will do, I'll just go and write down the message, whatever we have received here is. So, see, console.write line, uh, process message event arguments dot body dot message dot body dot to string. That's it. This should be fine. You can do any other things as per your need. And remember, since we have mention here autocomplete message is equal to true we need not to do the complete message here if you are going to do false here 
then you need to come here and write a complete process message event args dot complete message asynchronously so this we need to do but since we have going to use true here this is not needed okay next is configuring the message and another is the configure the error for error also what we have to do we have to add a delegate service bus processor dot error asynchronously again we have to pass the handler here handler since it's a delegate we have to create the same here and this is task error handler we have to pass the process error event arguments here you can do all the operations related to the errors what i'll do i'll just write the error source why this error has occurred process error event arguments dot error source okay that's it and one another thing which we have to do here is we have to return in this case so we will say task dot completed okay everything looks good now the last step is pending we have to start the processing so far we have not started this processing all pros what is the uh, service bus processor dot start processing asynchronously that's it and once this is done there is an error in the task handler asynchronous is not needed okay console.td line we already put this looks completely good and what we can do here is uh, whenever you execute everything is run in the background so you might not able to see you can put a debugger here so it is going to call asynchronously but we'll put a debugger here and to see how it works so let me just run it and see uh, oh there's an error oh so we haven't added the connection sync so let me quickly go and paste the connection sync here let me go back shared access policies connection string manage primary copied come here paste it now run it is inside processing the messages let us see what has happened here so the message which was there in the service bus it has able to process that and let me go next it is going to process the next message let us see what happened here next message learning about queues now i think there is no other message left cool so it is just we have to press any key enter so this is how we can use the service bus processor for processing the messages cool one other thing which i want to show here is since we all since we already use autocomplete message is true so it means all the messages should be deleted from the service bus let me go back there close this no save it go to service bus explorer and it says showing zero of zero messages which means already all the messages are deleted that's how we can uh, use the autocomplete for the deletion purpose